Hi, this is Edwin Young from Keysight Technologies, and in this video, I'm going to share how we can add solder balls into a layout uh, in the Keysight ADS uh, RF Pro uh, program. All right, so let me get started here. So I have ADS um, loaded, and let's say this is the layout of a package, and this is where I want to add some solder balls um, at the bottom um, that are right now representing by these circles uh, at the bottom layer. So if I kind of flip this into a three-dimensional view, you see that you know uh, right now the solder balls in this representation is represented by these you know grayish color cylinders, and um, and the idea here is to um, when I send this layout to our Pro program, I want to uh, use um, circular solder balls instead of these uh, cylinders uh, for the electromagnetic simulation. Um, so before we do that, there is a few pieces of information we need to get uh, from this layout. Uh, one is the um, X and Y dimensions um, from center to center of each of these solder balls. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure um, the distance from center to center of one of these balls. So I start up from here uh, using you know insert and measure, and um, you know put it in a circle, and then you know automatically it will automatically snap into the center of the uh, adjacent circle. And one click, it will show that it has it, it's a distance of 800 microns. So we need to kind of remember that for the um, x uh, axis center to center spacing. So let me do the same thing for the y axis. Uh, do this, snap, click, and that's another 800 microns. So it's basically 800 by 800 microns on um, x and y dimension. All right, so we have that. Now, the next thing is to try to figure out um, what is the height of this solid ball needs to be. So basically, I need to figure out, you know, what's the height, you know, of this cylinder right now. So one way of doing that is to open up a um, substrate stack uh, for this layout. So I'm gonna come in here, bring up the substrate, and I know the solder balls are in this PKG BT balls uh, layer. It's a via. So if I click on this um, area, it will highlight this, you know, sub dielectric substrate, and it will show me that this layer has a height of 450 microns. So each of the solder balls we need to be, you know, 450 microns tall. Okay, so I have that information now. So I have all that I need, and now that I can, you know, bring this layout to RF Pro, and which I have already uh, done. It's in here. So we took a 3D view. So I have these cylinders here. So um, the next step is to, um, first of all, easiest to to set this, you know. PKG BT boss layer to invisible. So that, that is actually this layer for these cylinders. So that way we just, you know, right click on it and set invisible. Right click invisible so that it, you know, is not there anymore. And then the next thing we do is to insert a solder ball. So we just mouse over this empty area, right click, and then um, select solder ball. And you can see that this kind of menu shows up at the top here. And then a ball would, would be, you know, would be brought into this kind of a default location. And in this um, area, this is where we can set up the dimension of each of the ball. And since it remembered the last time I did it, um, it remembered the height. Of 450, but you can actually change it to whatever you want. Let's say 200. You see the balls is smaller, so this is basically showing you what the ball you 
need, the height, the size, and then you can change the end facing, end width facing, which is this one here. Let's make it, you know, 250. And width, let's make it, I don't know, 500. So it, you can kind of play with this a little bit. The number of divisions, uh, act resolution, things like that. Okay, so that, so since, um, as long as we're happy with this um, shape of the solder ball, the next thing we need to do is to kind of anchor this ball into the design location that we want. Um, so we're going to pick, you know, um, to put the first ball at a corner location of the cylinder. So so this is where the, the, the corner cylinder would be. So in order to um, put this ball in the right place, we're going to need to kind of anchor the bottom center of this uh, ball onto the center of the circle, which is basically the bottom uh, interface uh, for the cylinder. So we'll come into this specify orientation tab, come into this advanced mode, and in this anchor uh, position area, click on this um, white uh, arrow key here, to allow us to enter a uh, anchor location for the ball. So click on that and then move the cursor. See that there is a little, um, you, know, uh, you know, blue pin associated with it. And then now you can see if I kind of uh, angle it right. And if you come near to the center of the circle, it will snap into it and that's the position that we want to anchor the ball. So once it's snapped, just click on the mouse button that will attach the ball bottom center onto that anchor location. And since we have the right height already, so you see that it's making contact with the bottom and with the top layer, which is what we want. So everything is good now, so hit done and it's saved. But now you see that, you know, it looks like it's really messed up here. You know, it's looking like a really, you know, colorless. And that the reason for that is we just need to add a material um, associated with the solder ball. So we have the ball here, you know, the uh, entry is added in here. So all we need to do is find a material that we want in this material uh, line, lineup. Click on copper. Um, we want it to be in copper material and then place it in here. And once we do that, you know, you see that, you know, it's got uh, the right color and then it's, you know, shows up in the right shape and dimension, everything. Okay, so the next step here is to kind of multiply this ball, you know, so that it goes eight by eight covering the, you know, all the um, cylinders that we need uh, for this uh, package, you know, ignoring for now that, you know, we don't have these cylinders in the middle. So let's say we just want an eight by eight um, pattern for this ball. So to do that, we'll just come back into this solder ball, right click and do create pattern, select linear rectangular, and then a menu will come up at the top here, which allow us to identify, spe specify the X and Y um, center to center um, distance uh, for the solder balls pattern, as well as the uh, number of rows, you know, in both X and Y to do this pattern. So, and it remembers what I did last time. So I already have, you know, 800 by 800. You can actually change that. If you do this, it will actually update to a different dimension. You see that it's kind of, you know, change, but we already know that it should be 800 in the X, X axis. Um, 800 for the Y axis, so let me do this. And then the um, a number of instances should be eight on the X axis and eight on the Y axis. So if we do that, you see that it's all lined up properly. Each one uh, lined up to the cylinders. And then we hit done. And that should uh, do it. And we should have um, you know, all eight by eight. Uh, balls um, associated with this package. So um, for so we added the solder balls, but remember we need to if we want to run the simulation, we want to if we want to use 
the solder balls instead of the uh, cylinders. We need to make sure that we will come into here, make sure that this is uh, unchecked so that it is not including in the mesh um, for this PKG BT ball layers. And then for the solder ball layers, we need to make sure that it is included in mesh. So when you do the simulation, the balls will be meshed and not the cylinders. And then finally, um, this uh, what I'm using is um, ADS 2021 version. Um, in order to um, uh, for this uh, ball, solder balls to show up, um, we need to turn on um, this uh, beta functionality option. So this is actually a beta uh, function. So um, we need to go to tools options and check this show beta functionality. Um, checkbox for this uh, menu to come up. So if you um, if you want to try that, go ahead and open up ADS 2021, um, bring up RF Pro, and then Tools Beta, and check this box, and then restart ADS. The next time you come back to RF Pro, you'll be able to, when you right-click here, you'll see this uh, menu for you to add the solder balls. Okay, so that's it. That's um, uh, you know. Hopefully that's a, a way to show how um, we can add solder balls onto a layout in um, RF Pro. And let me just um, bring back our slide here. Okay, if you have any questions about this video, feel free to contact myself. And here's my uh, contact email. All right, thank you.